there, my name is Sarah Ayler and I'm with softlixcompany.com. And today I'm gonna to show you our latest design kit. This is our Serenity Shore design kit. This kit has already sold out. We um, start selling them on the day that I reveal them, which is the last Wednesday of the month on Facebook. And so I revealed this this past Wednesday on Facebook, but it actually sold out about a month ago when it was first uh, put up online for sale. So if you love this kit that I'm going to show you today, then you want to go over to our website, softlexcompany.com, and get the next kit, which is going to be similar, um, but in a different color scheme. And it is called the Spice Market Design Kit. And it has a complimentary bead strand that you can buy in addition um, that matches it too. So uh, most of our kits are similar in that they contain everything you need to be able to bead except for tools. And in my videos, I usually use really basic beading tools, like crimping pliers and cutters. That way anyone can join us for any of our uh, design challenges, and it's not gonna be a huge investment. You're gonna get just the full kit, which is gonna have your wire, it's gonna have your crimps, clasp, uh, some ear wires, and then tons and tons of beads. And then if you wanna make extra stuff, you can just get some extra ear wires, extra clasps, maybe some more crimps, and then some tools. And that'll give you the opportunity to not just make a couple of designs from what you get, because there's so many beads, you can make like a dozen designs from what you get in one of these kits. So in this kit, we are featuring our Softlex beading wire in our fluorite color. It's our 0.019 inch medium diameter, and it's a beautiful, 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 like sage green color. It's one of my favorite colors of Softlex, just a really soft, muted green color that's just so lovely uh, in this mix with sand and um, blues and greens. You can really, really use this color as a design element rather than just a stringing product. Although it is still very strong with a 26 pound uh, break strength and it's for all purpose glass, mineral and metal beads. So it's perfect for what I'm going to be doing here today, which is making a necklace to match the bracelet and earrings that I made on Facebook on Wednesday. So um, some of the things that you will find in all of our kits are some check glass beads. In this case, we had, I think, five strands of uh, check glass beads. They're full strands, and they will come in a variety of shapes and finishes. You can see like the blue ovals and these fun green twisted um, drops have an AB finish, which I was saying on Facebook feels a lot like a mermaid sort of color mixture, which was fun. We've got some clear diamonds and that I haven't even broken open yet. And these faux pearls are really fantastic as well. So all of those were in the kit. We do a Jesse James custom bead mix in every kit. So a lot of the stuff that you see around the edge here is what came in that bead mix. We're also unfortunately sold out on the bead mix, but you can get the new Spice Market bead mix in your kit. And then we may have a few extra to sell on our next kit reveal day. Um, I usually order extra, which I did with Serenity Shore. They just sold super fast because there weren't too many of them. Uh, one really special feature in this kit is a beautiful sand dollar um, from Tierra Cast. It's a really lovely piece made in the USA, just like Softlux beading wire, and um, really a nice piece to get in the mix. The Jesse James bead mix had some fun items, also with our ocean theme, a really fun turtle bead really cute little um, starfish, which there were two of them, and I used one of them for my clasp on the bracelet that I made. So these pieces, these mother of pearl pieces, came in the Jesse James bead mix. They're actually beads with holes, um, but I was looking at them like connectors, and that's how I'm going to use it today, uh, not only in the bracelet, but now in the necklace as well. And then the earrings, I um, 
just took some of the check glass beads and these fun little bead caps and I crimped the wire to the little drop bead and then crimped it at the top to create a connector and then attached it to the ear wire. So really easy to make, very sturdy if you're crimping properly, which I'm gonna show you how to do today. Um, and of course I used our Softflex crimp tubes, which also come in the kit. There are, I believe, 20 sterling silver two by two millimeter crimp tubes, and they're very strong, double the wall thickness of most, and totally seamless solid tubes. One other thing went up for sale today that I wanted to point out um, that I think are just amazing. We have these new Czech glass ammonite beads in four colors, and they're just absolutely stunning. I love the color selection. So if you like these, make sure you grab them. We only have a limited quantity of these as well, and it would be great um, great for you to get them sooner rather than later and then miss out on them. So four great colors, and they're super affordable as well. You can find those on softlookscompany.com too. So today we're going to make this fun necklace. So I'm going to take a piece of my fluorite softlux beading wire. First, I'm going to make the dangle down here, and then we're going to make a long, um, a long necklace in the back. So I'm just going to unspool a little bit of wire and clip off some for my dangle here. And I normally would use much less than this, but for video purposes, I'm going to cut a little extra. I have my two by two millimeter crimp tube here. I'm going to string my wire through my crimp tube, through my bead. Now on this front, you don't have to use a drop bead like this. There are so many different options for things to use in the front of your necklace in this kit. Uh, you could also use the sand dollar. You could also use some of the little tassels that came in the Jesse James bead mix. That would be really cute as well. I'm going to use this fun drop and mimic the shape of the earring in the necklace. So I took my wire and I passed it back through the crimp tube. And I want to get my wires side by side inside the crimp tube. You don't want to make this so tight that it doesn't have any flexibility, um, but you don't want it to be so loose that it just doesn't look right. So you want to kind of um, find that nice space in between. And then you are going to take our magical crimpers, which have a little divot on each side. And we're gonna place our crimp tube in the center of those crimping pliers and then compress. The first pass should give us what looks like a little four corner ravioli. Then we're gonna turn it or turn our pliers at least the other way. Now we're gonna compress in those four corners. And then we're just gonna slightly turn and compress around the entire tube. So basically what you're doing is taking the sides of that crimp tube and compressing them into the nylon coating of the wire. So you're getting a really strong hold, but you're also turning that tube into a really beautiful little round bead. And then you can come in with your cutters, just slide it right up next to your crimp tube and trim that off. And then you've got a really nice connection. I'm just going to string my beads that I set out here. And we're going to do the same thing to connect it to the mother of pearl piece. So I've got my two beads strung. I'm going to get my next crimp tube. And go ahead and that so whether you're watching this in real time or you end up watching this YouTube video a year from now we will be continuing to make these design kits and there is a new one every single month so even if you miss out on spice market you can always check out what's available 
when you're watching this and jump on board any time. So again, I wanna leave a little bit of room and flexibility and make sure that it's connecting nicely. And then I can go ahead and compress. So I've got a little, nice little round bead. Now I'm gonna go in with my cutters again and just be very careful that you're cutting the correct wire. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people cut their wire that's part of their jewelry design. <laughs> that is no fun. So now we're gonna do something similar. We are going to attach and string our wire all the way around and then attach again. So this time I need a really nice long wire. I'm gonna make this into a, a lengthy necklace. So I'm gonna cut a pretty long piece here and take another crimp tube. Now, of course, because this is a bead, you could totally string wire through and you could expose beads in the center and string your wire through the top as well. I'm just showing you a creative way of using this um, as a connector piece rather than a bead. Okay, so we're just going to make a comfortable connection there and um, get our wires straightened out and go ahead and crimp. Anybody can do jewelry making. You don't have to be a seasoned artist to be able to make jewelry. It's one of those crafts that you can do at um, six years old and you can do at 86 years old. In fact, the owner's grandmother was beating right up to her 90th birthday and, um, and loved it. It was a great hobby for her. And it's, um, it's a great way to pass the time. So I've attached now to my top piece. I'm gonna string my beads. into place. I love the theme of the seashore, especially in the summer. On Facebook, we were talking a lot about all the different sea creatures um, that you can see near the ocean and just how fun it is to be able to visit the ocean in the summer especially right now um, with everybody having to social distance. It's really, if you can find a fairly empty beach, it's such a nice way to spend the day. Oh, lost my crimp. So I'm stringing a crimp tube. I'm not going to crimp it yet. I'm just going to leave it on the end here. And then when I'm all done, I can come back and, and crimp it at the end. Or actually, I'll just go ahead and crimp it and get it get it set in place, it doesn't need to wait. So I've got my little crimp tube there. I'm gonna pass a second wire through so that my crimp has just a little bit more to gnaw into when I crimp it. And um, then I'm gonna come in with my crimping plier. I'm gonna just kind of gently push it up against the beads, but again, you don't ever want it to be so tight that, that it loses its flexibility as a jewelry design. Jewelry is meant to be worn and therefore it needs to be flexible and comfortable and you never want to make anything so tight that it just is rigid and doesn't feel really good to wear. One of the great things about soft flex is just how flexible the wire is, especially if you give it that little bit of extra room to breathe a little bit of a butterfingers. So I'm getting in close, but being really careful not to cut my, my good wire. And then I can go ahead and start stringing my, my other side crimp first. 
So I'm going to string my crimp and this time I'm going to string the opposite direction because I'm coming down this way to connect to my bottom. So I'm going to start up here and work my way down through my beads in the same order as the other side. Okay, and then I just need one more crimp here on the end. And I'm going to string through the connector into back into my crimp tube. Just kind of gently pull that down again, leaving that little bit of breathing space straightening out my wires inside my crimp tube. I can come in and do my crimping. Lots of good crimping practice on this necklace. If you're looking for some good crimping practice with your magical crimpers, you could also use regular crimpers and just leave it if you like how they look as a small tube. You could use um, crimp covers as well, which a with a two by two millimeter crimp tube, you would use a three millimeter crimp cover. Those do not come in the kit, um, but that's just another, another option. And there we go. Now we're just gonna crimp this one at the top and we will have our necklace all put together. So I'm going to grab another little scrap of wire that I had cut off and string it through my crimp tube, bring it down towards my beads, and then I can go ahead and crimp that into place. You can find these magical crimpers on our website, they're so handy. They really work well for crimping. Also, you can find the Italian cutters that I've been using on the website too. And they are fairly good cutters. Definitely get the job done. You wanna really be able to get in there nice and close when you're doing this kind of work and have a good strong cutter to use for that. So there you go. That's how you would make a long dangle necklace to match the bracelet and earrings that I made on Facebook. You can find that tutorial um, on our Facebook channel. All of this will also be on a blog um, coming up on Monday. And that'll have all the links to the videos um, for you to be able to locate it that way as well. Thank you for joining me today. If you would like to get our next kit, which is the Spice Market Design Kit, head on over to our website, softflexcompany.com. We have a great deal this week. It's $5 off an order over $49, $10 off an order over $69, and $20 off an order over $99 plus free shipping on all orders in the USA. And um, we have uh, also those ammonite beads that I showed you earlier are up on the website. And then we've got a Spice Market uh, bead strand as well. Here was the, this is what the Serenity Shore bead strand looked like. This is sold out as well. Um, but it gives you kind of an idea of what the bead strand might look like for Spice Market. Some really beautiful fall colors, and I know you're going to totally love it. So check it out, and we'll see you next time.